Good afternoon, good evening, good M A E N, nice guest, good time zone to you. Hello, Fleming Fox, how are you doing? Perfect timing, I've just started up. And, um, yeah, good to see you. Or should I say, long time no see, I did spot you in Max's stream last night, which is pretty awesome. All right, so, uh, for those of you who are not familiar, this is Delenn, surprise, surprise, and I am inside the thing. Hello? Hello. Oops. I am inside that. And today's plan is that we're going to actually build the innards to get this thing working. So I'm nervous because I haven't built redstone on stream in a while. Um, I did it in creative this morning, but creative has a world of safety, right? Like, I don't know what it is, but something about it just feels better. So we're going to wing it and see how we do. Uh, first off, I'm not even sure if I brought the right stuff. Nope, I didn't. Oh well. That's okay, we'll do what we can. I was... what was I working on? I was working on the fence, the walls at the base. So this is going to be a little bit different. Also, it feels weird because everything's closed in here. Whereas, um, yeah, I didn't bring... I brought some of the redstone I need. So this is totally not going to be great. Um, looks like, actually, I might be better to start off with a run back to base and on the way, see what we need. It's going to be a lot. I think we might have enough gold. I have to make a ton of rails. We're going to blow a bunch of, of um, diamonds on note blocks. I've never made a note block, so that'll be interesting. No problem. No problem at all. If you need to alert, go right ahead. It's fantastic Chuck Fox says, I love the maintenance door and sounds great. Uh, thanks for lurking it. Sorry about the, the cleaning though. No problem. Adulting is, adulting is important. So I'm hoping I'll have the right things. I have no clue if I actually even own the right things. But that's all right. We will make it happen and do some derping along the way. All right, where am I? Oh, this way. Uh, how did I not have my own base showing? That's just weird. There we go. Hello, thank you. It's not crashing to Wolfen's portal while we're at it. I have moved my portal a little bit. So it's not quite right anymore, but that's okay. One of those, you know, fix it while you're at it things. Okay, let's go with this. Uh, then, what did I call it? Why can I not find out what I'm looking for? Nether, right? Home roof. Okay, this one. Edit. Now we'll take this one out that one out and just say confirm that should have updated let's see yep close enough i don't even know which way i'm pointing when i'm in here ah okay that that'll do okay so first things first we're going to need a ton of rails now let's see actually we should probably take out redstone box I get that put up somewhere just so that I can start adding things to it hello there hello there Bob how are you good late evening to you sir we've got some that might be enough I doubt it yeah we need more redstone lamps and more glowstone I'm trying to figure out where did I Can make some more of that, it's fine. This one, this one, we need at least four of those. This, we got two. No, well, that's a start. What did I miss? Not enough redstone. All right, so I've got four more lamps. I 
that's gonna do. I'm gonna have to fire up my other um, instance here in a quick second and get. Oh, we're gonna get double sounds for a bit. Sorry about that. As soon as I can get into the world, I will shut down the extra sounds. Escape. Options, sounds. So we've still got double sounds going on. Sorry about that. It's uh, the nature of what, of what I've got going on here. Okay, so four, oh, I guess I did five. And note blocks. I'm just doing quick counts to see. Let's go this way. Mm, live. That one. All right, so we've got one, two, three. I'm gonna count these from the inside, it's a little easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And eighteen of those. Make a note. Scrap paper for the win. Eighteen and B. And then a whole lot of rails, but I'm assuming it's 18 detectors. And then a lot of um, levers. That's what I'm trying to think of the word. Lots of levers, lots of gold rails needed. And that should do it. Okay. Now I'm going to move that to another screen, back to the regular one. Now I can see on my left hand screen what's going on here. And let's see, we need to do 18 of the note blocks. That's going to be expensive. A lot of wood. Okay, well that's easy enough. Let's use birch because I still have a stupid amount of that. Um, do I have a box on the go? Oh, I don't. Not here anyways. Ooh, more glass. Excellent. I don't want 26, I only want 18. That would be expensive. I go my diamonds, goodbye. Let's get those put away. You're not getting double sounds? Fantastic. Ah! So let's see what we got. What did I miss? Yeah. So, Blame Fox with her headphones connected up, she can hear me everywhere now. Ooh, apologies. <laughs> and Bob's falling asleep, yep. Probably should be. I mean, it's already after midnight in the UK. I have zero problem if you need to go to bed, take some good care of yourself, you know, and get a good rest. Um, I may have a face for radio or a voice for print, but we'll see how it goes. And good, Flaming Fox is not getting double sounds. When I'm using, um, multiple instances of Java all at once, it can get a little clickety-clickety. And if I don't have it going through the correct output, then I have multiple sounds making clicks at the same time. Okay, so we need a lot more powered rail. We might be able to get away with that much regular rail. And... where is... Sure. Let's do it that way. Do I have any rail in hiding? No, I do not. Okay. Um, I need those two, two or three torches, so we should be fine. 
What's he looking about? Rail. Right. Uh, start by making all of this into all of that. And Hello. Rail. Hello. How are you? Oh, come on in, Benson. Welcome, welcome. I need sticks. Woohoo! Sticks is something I can do. Okay. Let's get a bunch of rail. Or um, that should be way, way, way more than what I need. So let's not super waste materials. Ah, moving my help. Okay, there we go. Um, levers, a whole ton of levers. 15, that won't be enough. Oh, I don't need that many levers. One pile should do it. Benson! Good to see you. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to ask you how you've been doing. I'm not doing as good at keeping up lately as I'd like. Just doing a little bit of a uh, introverted collapse temporarily, but hopefully after our vacation I'll be doing better, so we'll go with that and uh, hope that it's the case. Okay, this one, that one. I need mine carts and hoppers. Only six, huh? I can deal with that. Well, let's get some hoppers. Actually, do I have hoppers in here? 32. It's more than enough with this. Droppers? No, I need... Yeah, actually, dropper will be fine. Can I have a glass? Just trying to figure if I need anything else. Buttons. I know this is going to sound dumb, but I do need buttons for change. Normally I don't need buttons, but... This time is nice. Oh! Hopefully they went well? I can imagine you're probably pretty tired, just want to flop out on a couch. You're noisy. Everybody's in bed. There's one, two, three, and last guy. Yep, four. Okay, everybody's in bed. Is this nothing in there? No. Good. How's this one doing? Don't you need trimming? Okay, we're good. Yeah, my last pile of redstone um, was courtesy of Huge Stormy Owl and Fantastic Sherlock Fox, because I've got one lonely um, cleric in the monastery across the gap, I guess, and he's not very helpful. Half the time you trade with him and he doesn't want to stay put and he runs off. So you trade till he runs out, even if he's standing right by his, his brewing stand, he runs away. Excuse me. I don't know what it is. I go to stream and then I suddenly get itchy, like every time. Really weird. I'm hoping I'll have enough. I should only need one or two minecarts max, so we should be okay. Right, okay, now we've got just in case and a couple of minecarts. I don't know what I would need observers for, but I'm taking them just in case. Um, let's see what else do I have in here. Take a quick look at the other one to see what else I missed. Last buttons. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nope. It's as simple as it looks. Oh, no, I missed the detector rails. Aha. Okay, so detector rails. What do I need for those? Ah, of course. Pressure plates. Yeah, you, of course I would need pressure plates. Pressure plates. 
Um, where did I put the loose stone? Do I not have any anymore? Under my nose. That'd be sensible. All right. Now I need to make 18 pressure plates. I got 11. Hmm. That's not good. Yeah, let's steal out of here, because I've got one on the go. I can always refill this box when we get down to the other side. Sensible's overrated? <laughs> Interesting thought. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think 19 actually. Because I want one for the front. And I've got buttons, okay, that'll do. All right. Let's put the precious or expensive stuff away. Should be able to make the detector rails now. Where did I? Of course I did can't because I turned it all into blocks. There we go. I have 16 more pressure plates than I actually need, but that's okay. One extra set, why not? Okay, let's Turn this into stuff again. Unbox this one. There's the just in case file. All right. I think we've got everything we need. I'm trying to stay organized, and it's not helping. Now let's take away all these boxes. So that one, this one, and this one. All need to go in here. Certainly don't want them to despawn. That would be less than ideal. Why am I missing something? That's the bed. Still feel like I'm missing a box somewhere. How are we doing for food? I'm doing doubles. Not double sound, sorry. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, we don't need to replenish that at the moment. All right, I guess we're out of here. That was quicker than I expected. Nope. Oh, Abbott. I moved the portal, and I forgot that I moved the portal. Spawn, you are that away. Ow! I mean, just a little bit hot. Quick trip to spawn, yeah. Very quick trip. Crash! Now I suspect we're all alone. Yep. Which means I have to keep in mind that I need to sleep. I'm trying to keep my uh, frames high for you guys, so it's not great, but... Um, I need to just check and see which side I need to spot. But trying to keep the frames high means that I can't switch out to a resource pack right now, which would be nice. Where did I? Hmm. 
already. Well, what I'm going to do actually is probably mirror flip this, which could cause us a little bit of a headache because I'm going to want to, to copy it. But um, the reason I think I want to mirror flip it is because of this hole. I like it being on this side. Otherwise, it ends up over here, which while more hidden, is also more mob infested. So, yeah. Alright. This feels like we're starting over from zero again. It's uncomfortable. And this one's also going to have a lot more moving around with scaffolding because we do not have creative flight. So we have to first off we have to find the front center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay, so our geek out has been changed out. We're talking about two actors who have played the devil. Or after he went down to Georgia. We're going to build it and then figure out how to trigger it afterwards. Uh, let's change my point of view in the other world I'm working in. Because it's hard for me to mirror things if I don't know if I'm looking at it square on the wrong way. raining. Ooh, is it ever raining? You can see off the uh, corner of the map why I don't particularly want to make the uh, access door on the opposite side. A little bit less pleasant. All right. Hmm. Excuse me. So determine this is the front. Which means we're going to have... First off, I have to get the boxes out. Um, this should be good. I need to do glass. This is somebody out there has... Uh, what do you call it? A hat or something. Noisy. Shush. I'm trying to work. Okay, that should not go right through you. That's a little disconcerting. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna need some temporary blocks. Let's go with Lot Ugly Green. I should do what we need. All right. I will say that a million more times, by the way, just in case you hadn't figured that out. Say all right an awful lot. This one. And we can fill this in after, I suppose. Where did I put glass? Just 
five, but three, two, and all right. Now we're going to need to change those um, those out as we go to be our length. Uh, lights, but um, I'll figure that out as we get there because that'll probably be something later. Okay, we need glass. One hopper going in here. Glass, thank you. We had a lot of these blocks. Um, no, that's one. And three, where did I put the other ones? I guess I have to leave that there. I'm going up the wrong side again. I started not reversing this system. Gotta go out to this side. Why is it glass? Just so we can see what's going on inside. Not sure I'm happy with those corners, so we'll have to see what, what's going on there. Let's see, two actors who play the devil. Um... I want to say... Good, thank you. Thank you very much. Blue, okay. Exclamation point. G blue. Six cable networks. There we go. And I don't even care if they're North American or not. I would suppose cable network. We could probably say that... Uh, that BBC would only be one. Technically. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Sky, I suppose, yeah. ABC, NBC, CNN, yeah. And if you go international, then you can get like, like CBC and so forth. They're not oh. I hope it's eighteen up to the top. If it's not, this will be bad. Ow. Oh, good question. I don't know if Telstra does cable or not. Where's Telstra from, anyways? One block. Two. Oh, Oz. Duh. Of course. Yes. Ask a silly question and get a very good straightforward answer. Well, there you go. There's your answer. They certainly do. Okay, so it comes around. Ow. Glass. Glass. Hello there. Hello there. How are you doing, Devil Shrugs? Good evening to you. Welcome on in. 
So I am working on a design for a set of like a rail rail cart set of workings for the inside of the um, wandering trader statue thing. Oh, I see. Whoops. I don't need this column. Yay! That feels good. For once to have brought too many too many supplies is nice. Ow. Okay, well, so much for that idea. Picking down the extra. I have to be careful not to take out the ceiling. And I do apologize that it's dark. Let's see what I can do. Options. Try this one. Nope, no go. I'm glad, thank you. Do I have, oh, I do have torches. There we go, now we can sort of see what's going on at the top. It's not perfect. All right, let's put down there. I can always come back and get them. All right, where are we here? Yeah, so I, sorry, I apologize for being so distractible. Um, I wanna get this thing done for you guys so that so that um, I can get some feedback by the time I return from a family trip to Ireland as to whether or not this is working out, whether or not it needs some more bugs eliminated. Can you reach? Yeah. So it's just going to be a, a loud, noisy, jangly thingamajigger. And I do intend, Sherlock Box, to put the little surprise in at the end, the one that I showed you earlier, but I don't have the piece for that at the moment, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get one. I'll have to check back at base, see I've got one. I didn't bring it on purpose, just because I didn't want to accidentally spoil the plan. The basic concept behind this one is just that we've got a lot of minecarts that, that basically go round and round in circles. I shouldn't say a lot of, one at a time really. It goes round in circles. And then, um, and as it goes by, it rings a, a note block. And so the note blocks of course change tone and so on and so forth. But there's more, um, there's going to be more note blocks in the system than the number of tones available. I mean, because I don't use sharps and flats. In which case, um, I have to repeat a couple of them at the end. So anyways, it goes by and it rings like a progress tone. And then um, when the uh, statue dude is done thinking, that's sort of like a, the circling is representing his thinking. That's part of why there's so many tones involved. And then when he's supposedly done thinking, then that's when um, that's when you'll get one more sound, which will be the indicator to uh, go ahead and press the button to get fortune. I mean, technically, you could do that right off the bat. Where's the fun in that, you know? Now I did I did the uh, mock up this morning in um, like with wool underneath a lot of these rails, 
and I just decided I couldn't see through it, so I didn't like that part of it. Thing is, though, um, I can never remember whether or not it transfers information or not. I think it does, so we're going to have some problems here, and I'm going to have to break out some of these blocks as we go to, to replace them with solid blocks just to make sure we get the sounds. Or the, yeah, sound signals. So I, in this case, I can actually put the note block right under the rail, which is nice. Okay, we're getting dark. Dark, dark, dark. Dark until partly light in the morning. Um, yeah. This one, I think that's as high as I can go because I need those two blocks. Yeah. So then we're going to have a chest on the corner, which will have our uh, commentary. Now, it's come to my attention um, that now, we may not end up actually have as many blocks as I thought. Hmm. It's come to my attention that um, the com uh, that we only have 30 characters to be able to rename a piece of paper, which is not really enough for a fortune. <laughs> um, so by not having enough for a fortune, then that suggests that we're going to need to um, use written books instead, which is not something I'd planned on. So we're probably going to have to see if we can get hold of some squid, because that's going to be the big the big stopper. Okay, and then this just angles straight over. Yeah. Oh. Hmm, that's not quite what I want. I guess this one's gonna have to come over by one. Not quite what I thought, but hey, it'll do. Gives me some flexibility as well. Nope. Oh, let's not fall off. That would be less than ideal. Okay. I think I've got going what I need here. So the next step up is probably to add the track, which is going to need a lot of blocks put in that are conductive. So I've got the, the stone for that. It's not the best block, but hey, it, it will do. Uh, okay, and I need rails and levers levers and rails and oh not that okay regular rails i'm trying to find the best like organization for myself and it's just not coming out this one this one rails when I need that. Regular rails when I don't. Okay. And it's nighttime. <laughs> All right. Kane was online and, and it's like, yeah, just so you know you're alive. It's it's okay. You just keep playing. And he's like, and he says, Sub to Lynn! Thanks for the advert. That's awesome. Hilarious and awesome. Okay, let's get. Oh, I need the detector rails. There'll be a lot of fussing around to get this part going. That's okay. First off, this has got, that's got to go. I need this one. That's going to go eventually.
And we got a detector rail. Great. I needed the note blocks. See, I knew I'd forget something. So I didn't leave them back at base. That would be rough. Very, very rough. Oops. Come on. Hmm. You're supposed to make a noise, right? Okay. That's not going to work quite right. That's fine. Let's go with this one. Good noise now. Oh, oh, geez. Well, that's the most expensive set of... Yeah. Oops. <laughs> that's a big, big pile of oops. Okay. Let's see how much we can recover. Eight. Hmm. Well, that's not ideal, but let's see. I got too excited. Redstone. Why did I do think it? I no accounting for lack of brains. Okay. Let's see. How can you talk if you haven't got a brain? I don't know. But some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? I don't need quite so much green. I certainly don't need the dirt. Well, I can get 14. Let's see, where do I got? Sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That should do it, I think. Um, maybe, depending on your point of view. Maybe it's a little bit of a bleak sound note. But if I've just gone and spent 18 diamonds, on a series of um, jukeboxes, and I feel like that one's very, very appropriate. Okay, so now I just need to run them down until I get to the corner. And this one can go. Yeah, I know. I I'm aware that you can, I just felt dumb, you know? One of those moments. Oops, and I can do this. I'm trying to hide a lot of this stuff. Or not hide it, keep it tidy. Nope, I don't like the way I did that. That way. One, two, three. Sorry, guys, very itchy nose today. That'll turn on those three. Let's get some reg rails going. and around the bend.
I'm just going to go all the way up. It's a lot easier for me. Then I'll fix all the corners. Actually, no, I won't. I'll do it as I go. Okay, so this is the middle, I think. Where did I find the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, I think it was. About the middle? Nope, it's not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Excuse me. Eight is the middle. Well, it's not critical. Okay, now I've got a spot where I can line up. And it's all over to the roof. Close enough? All right. That should get some good views and everything. Let's take a couple of torches and sort this one. Excuse me just a second, I'm gonna deal with this nose. We're back. All right. Hopefully, no more itchy noses. Don't know what it is. Just really dry weather, or whatever. Anyway, okay. So we've got that one, and then I wanted five rails. Cause it doesn't really matter. Three ought to do it. One, two, three. Come on. Go. I'm not short on diamonds at the moment, so we're, we're good. Okay, let's take out this one. And these two. Two, three. to have three lighting up there, right? Did that light up properly? No, because I put it on the glass, of course. Duh. Yeah, that's better. Okay, it's two. Nope, the itch is still there. Not just any itch. The son of an itch. I know that was meant as crude as it sounded. Alright, so then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? You said eight? Eight. That one too. While we're here, oops, and this one, and that one. Okay. Three, one, two, three. Where do these keep going? Yeah, we're gonna need more light for sure. Now that I've got that, I can jump down here. We got this light all the way up. Right? Oh! Not quite.
And I'm hearing bleeps. Enjoy your lurk, Lemmy Fox. Thank you very, very much for coming by. I do appreciate that. And then we've only got one more to really set up, and then we should be able to pick up pace a little bit. Oops. R. And up. Let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be this one. One, two, three. Turn it on. All right, we're getting we're getting somewhere slowly. Oops, not this one. You would start to see why I thought that um, having the opening at the front would work best to have the exit at this end once we've actually got ourselves um, sorted out. Oh, hello there! Hello, there. Oh, welcome back, Springer. Sorry I missed you coming in earlier today. I appreciate the fact that you came in. Um, I am working on now fully installing the, uh, the thing that we left off on this morning. So I've got myself Hopefully. So it doesn't even look turned. Oh, it is turned on. Okay. Um, I've got myself inside the real deal. I'm trying to install the uh, redstone that we mucked up. Mucked up. Ugh. Mocked up earlier. Although, I mean, mucked up earlier seems to fit too. Closed captions for the win. <laughs> it can't tell the difference sometimes when I say mucked up or mocked up. I like that. Score. All right. This one's got to be a little higher, I think. All right. So we're a little bit brighter in here. It's not great, but it will do. It will allow people to see what's going on. I still need to get um, break into the front, but we can do that. Okay. Round and round and round she goes. This one. Picking up pieces as we go. Time to go around the front. Been a long evening. Need time to chill and wind down before bed. My goodness, but it's pretty late out there, isn't it? Gotta be. Yeah, it's almost one. Wow. Thank you very much for coming by, but I mean, really, please do remember to take care of yourself because that sounds like a long, long, long day. And it will get even longer. There we are. This one and that one. Regular. We're always happy to have you coming, yeah, for sure. I don't want anybody to feel that they're unwelcome. I just would like people to be able to take care of them, themselves uh, if they're sleepy or whatever. There's video game addiction, and then there's, you know, television and Twitch addiction. And uh, I, never, I never want to be accused of encouraging the latter. As I say that, I'm going to mess it up, right? Isn't that how it goes? Okay. This one. Regular rail. I'd love to pretend that adding more rails will make it faster, but my testing this morning suggested otherwise. 
Ouch. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Emotions can be really rough. They're not easy to deal with at any age, kids or otherwise. At least you know if I disappear, it's usually something here at home pulling me away. Well then, thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, I try to let my homes pull me away every once in a while too. I haven't been great at it this summer, but the kids have been understanding, mostly. Part of the trade-off that I was doing was I was playing um, scrap mechanic with the kids, so that was something they were very much into, and uh, that seems to help a little bit, because I was doing a bit of what they want, so their tolerance for me doing the streaming is a little higher after that. Yep, scrap mechanic. Yep. It's an early access Steam game. Pardon me. It's got a creative mode and a survival world kind of mode. And the idea, as far as I can tell, seems to be you're the position of a little short mechanic. I mean, as in the, the characters are, are drawn really small. And um, you're dropped on a world where the world has been, um, like all humanoid characters, mostly. But, um, you've been dropped on a world where the bots, the robots that are supposed to be making the world are doing all the work for everybody. The bots have gone haywire. Hello. And so therefore they're after you. Hello. Hello, Skyfire. Good to see you. Whoops. And I misjudged by one block. No good. Welcome for... Welcome, drop in anytime you like. Hello! So when you get a moment to tell me, what is it that you were working on today? Because inquiring minds want to know. Oh, you'll have to excuse me again. My office may actually be dusty, but uh, it just feels like every time I turn around it feels like I'm inhaling a bit of dust and it tickles. So... Apologies for that. Good to see you. Yeah, welcome to all the raiders. Welcome in. Please uh, sit down and enjoy, or if you need to take a stretch, you know, do take care of yourself. That we are hanging out in uh, on the Dadcraft seventy three server for, uh, server for Patreon members, and I am attempting to install um, some redstone track that I came up with this morning, um, or on the earlier stream today, oops, to, to make the statue above actually spit out, uh, well, sound like it's doing something interesting before it spits out a piece of paper that's in essence cheesy fortune is the idea. Um, but we'll have to see how it goes. Let's see. Skyfire says, I was working on the medieval village again on Nameless. Made another house in a different style than before using a different palette. Rockin! I need to check more of that out because um, the theme I've got is medieval and I'm going to be having a town with it uh, inspired by Shrewsbury, England and um, definitely need to look at some varying palettes. There's only so far that realism will actually take you before it starts to look very samey. Yeah, so um, I'll just give you guys a quick boo. Ah, free cam right, right. Okay, so we, this is our shopping district on the Deadcraft 73 server. And in the back here, I've built a very large dude. Excuse my nose. Itchy, itchy. Um, but yeah, so basically you take a raider, a uh, raider, um, a trader, and then we've got it so that when you clobber them, he drops his head. So we took a look at this head and basically a one-to-one -one block scaling up and then we've got the sea lanterns and stuff that will light up and look, look cool when you when you use shaders um so then the idea after that is that um supposedly you come over here and you and you're talking to this dude and then he decides to clink and clank and make a lot of noise in here it's not much of a clinking clanking sort of thing but the, the cart goes around and then when it makes the last of its noises then you know to go press a button 
on a dispenser to spit the paper. Or, well, in this case, it'll be a written book. So, yeah, that's the idea. Anyway, we'll see how well it goes. It's big. It's definitely big. And thank you very, very much, Fantastic Sherlock Fox, for gifting a sub to Skyfire. That's an excellent, excellent choice. Oh, ad break. Ad break. I didn't bring enough rails up to the top. Didn't bring enough rails, period. Hmm. Okay, just let me take a look and see what I need to make them. Regular rails. You should be able to handle that. Old fashioned way. Rails, rails, rails. Do I have. Oh, I don't have sticks hiding. Okay, just make some more sticks. You can always use extra rails, right? That's a lot of rails. All right. We have more than we need. That's okay. Pick up the stuff that ended up on the ground. Yep, so that's why I want it to go faster. Is, um because the the cart will be going round and round and round in circles and uh it takes a while to go all the way around so i was thinking that what we're going to do instead um, as it goes around it's going to have a note block that'll change its tone as we go all the way around and a cup and a few um redstone lamps that, that are sort of like progression lamps that as they go up to the top and then there'll be a, a sound in the center of the, at the top But by reversing it or mirror flipping things compared to my plan this morning, um, it's just throwing me a little bit of a loop, but that's, you know, par for the course. Okay, where did I get to? I got to up there. Um, yeah, actually, that's part of why it's as simple as it is, um, is because I'm not very familiar with redstone, so I'm sort of derping it out as we go. And that means that um, there's things that can probably be done in done. Wow, there's things that can probably be done in a more efficient manner, but I just don't have the experience to be able to do it in a more efficient manner. I love that they did a fortune teller, but that's a tease. Eh, I guess. Exactly. Well, and sometimes, sometimes I like the inefficient format intentionally. Like in this case, I know that I really don't need anything more than the dispenser itself. That's the way this thing functions. It's, it's just that I don't need all of this oofra, but it's fun, right? It's fun to make noise. So the resulting effect is there's more rails and more everything else than necessary. I wish I could make it louder, but I don't have that skill, so. The suggested design that, that one of my uh, server mates had come up with, or community mates, I guess, had come up with, um, actually had a lot more, sorry, it had like four carts going around in circles. Which is great, except that um, I don't want them to overlap. I'd rather have a start and stop format, in which case, if they're, if they're not starting and stopping, then that poses problems because I've added a drop. So, yeah. Whoop -de -doo. Using the rails to control the timing of the note blocks is interesting. I have not seen that before. Eager to see how it turns out. We're not that far off being able to run a test run of, of the track itself, just to make sure that the um, minecart will go all the way around. Also taking a look at where I need some more actual torches because um, redstone lighting updates are a thing, which is kind of annoying sometimes. 
Um, I'll just throw one in there in all the corners when it, start, when it starts getting dark. And I swear it feels like I'm inhaling my hair. Come on. There we go. Okay. Stretch, slouch, whatever. <clears throat> what we got? Did I turn these on? No, I did not. I may have more rail in there than absolutely necessary, but more rail doesn't necessarily mean more speed either. Um, oops, I don't need this one. I was going to have the corners, as you can see, moved out by one, but that doesn't work for the bend Two, in the... Four, six, eight. Everybody hydrate! Woo Thank you very much. Everybody hydrate. I'm into water right now. Is good news. Twenty seven C is fairly warm for us. Um which converts that to twenty seven space C, it looks like. We need to use there we go. It's yeah, so a twenty seven space. C. We're only eighty Fahrenheit, but in Western Canada we're not used to warm temperatures. Just not really a thing out here. So like when, when we say, oh my goodness, it's 30 degrees. That's crazy. Well, 30 degrees out here, we're not even really approaching much more than about 84. So it's not really all that scary. Okay. I think it's just because the system doesn't know how to do a break between if we don't put a space in there. Corner, rinse and repeat. Torches. There we go. I was gonna say we're not that far from the top, but we're a ways from the top, so we're getting there as quick as we can. One and two. I could use one, yes. Indeed, indeed. I do have a fan in the corner, and uh, it's actually not on the highest setting at the moment. There's plenty of scope for it to go hotter. On a hotter, sorry, on a higher setting. But um, I'm trying to modulate uh, how much background noise it gives. Um, the settings on the, pardon me, the settings on the microphone aren't that bad. The issue is just more that it, um, it starts to cut out a lot of my real voice if I am too loud on background noise that it has to cut out. So I just don't want to lose a lot of that. Oh. It's definitely one way to get, give me a jump, though. So much for the stretch. I think you just undid it. The re <laughs> you may have noticed. Oh, interesting. Um, you may have noticed that the spider hiss is a little bit more expensive than some of the others, and that's specifically because I am an arachnophobe, and so spider jumps are a little effect, a little more effective than some of the other sounds. All right. Did I bring? Only eight. Huh. Is that going to be enough? Not. Okay. I was trying to figure out why do I have so few slots in my inventory and part of it is because I didn't drop off free chicken. I saw a neat, um, a neat, uh, oh shoot, what's the word? No. Resource pack is the word I'm looking for. There we go. And, uh, in this, in this neat resource pack, or the one I'm enjoying, it's a Lego resource pack, and they've even done Lego versions of the spiders. I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to look, the Lego studs, because I don't think those will be anywhere near as scary. And normal spiders shouldn't bother me, like normal Minecraft spiders shouldn't bother me. It's illogical that they do. There's a lot that's illogical about stuff like this.
I don't think I need a gazillion rails. Okay, come on, rail box over there. Two, three. Probably put away four. Oh. All right, we need gold rails. Power rails. Twenty. Five, ten. No, that's not gonna do it. Twenty isn't gonna be enough. What am I short of? Sticks. Of course I'm short of sticks. You know, why would I have sticks? Right? Who needs sticks? Okay. There. Can we make rails and rails now? Let's stop at 62 and see if a stack is enough. Oh, excuse me. In real life, spiders make noise, not ones that we could actually hear. Um, however, unfortunately, two things have happened that contribute to this. One is that real life spiders do make weird walking around noises, which you can hear when you have spiders en masse. Uh, the second thing about that is that movie spiders have become a problem for me, thanks to my dad. You do not show a seven or eight year old arachnophobia and laugh when they get scared. So, yeah. But that's okay. I mean, he's, he's nearly 80 now. You know, I'll leave him alone. I used to be mad about it. Weirdly enough, I've seen that actually. Um, one of my friends in high school used to have a pet tarantula. Um, the story Fantastic Dog Fox has heard ad nauseum is that um, they act related to the bells though specifically. Um, this friend had actually wanted, wanted to make sure that they knew where their spider was in the house so yeah. So they put a bell on its leg. Like one of those little cat bells. Needless to say the spider was not too impressed. Um, but that was fine. So they moved the cat bell off the spider's leg, thankfully, and instead they attached it to, um, around its middle, like, you know, because you've got an abdomen and whatever. So they, they actually tied it so the bell was on the spider's back. Well, of course, it doesn't make much noise that way. Only if it's rapidly moving or something. Um, but the story that I was going to mention is, oh, there we go that um so he brought this spider to school and they were letting it crawl on our friends which as you can imagine i said no thank you not happening um and then one of my other friends was hanging out and didn't uh, coming to join our group and didn't realize what, what was going on she knew this friend had brought her spider but didn't realize that the friend was having the spider crawl on people at that particular moment in time so uh this other friend tossed a chocolate bar to the friend who currently had the spider on them, the whole think fast. Well, of course, the friend did think fast, and up and up comes their arm, and off goes the spider, and in case you weren't aware, spiders have their hearts on their bottom, and they are not very good at having their legs hit before their body. So we had a quite a notable multi-heart splat in the hallway at the school. And my other friend burst into tears, needless to say, the one who owned the spider, because you do when somebody instantly kills your pet spider. So, yeah. Not high on my list. Years later, I worked for a pet store, and we were, um, one night the corn snakes got out in our reptile department, and I don't particularly like or dislike the snakes. Yeah, hearts all along your underside, really. And... So I don't particularly like, dislike the snakes, but um, we had to go hunting for these corn snakes so they got out of their, their aquarium. And so as we're hunting around for the corn snakes, the um, I go to look under one of the shelves, and there is the spider, this big tarantula looking at me. 
Yeah. If a spider could scream, it, we probably screamed in stereo. <laughs> so, yeah, not, not my best day. We'll, we'll put it that way, not my best day. I didn't work there too long after that, but that was by choice. That was not by something. I didn't get fired or anything. I just didn't really want to have to deal with that sort of thing long term. It was more the long hours because um, you had to reconcile the cash trays at night and they were really fussy. Yes. But yeah, that's the, another one. I mean, my brother loves to tell us ridiculous story about um, about classmates of his at school. All they were talking about is different things in different parts of the world. And so of course he goes on and talks about the wonderful outback spiders in Australia. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad I was not there. Just put it that way. And the sad part about this whole thing, which isn't the sad part, but a sad part about this whole ridiculousness about me and spiders, is that um, I legit had wanted to be an entomologist. So like a spider, uh, spider, bleh, a bug scientist. I love looking at all kinds of bugs, except arachnids. So if I could actually successfully have a career like that without having to have anything to do with spiders, then I would be all over that like a dirty shirt or interested in it anyways. But that's not the reality of, way of life. That's not how life works. You're not the only one, actually. Um, Jumpy Spider Lady is another one on the net who our community is familiar with. And she's very much into spiders as well. Which is fine. I have on a couple of occasions apologized because um, because she'll be talking about spiders or something in the in the uh, chat or whatever. And then I just start ignoring chat. And so I'm like, yeah, I'll ignore it until she's done. Until it scrolls out. And I feel bad because I don't like ignoring chat. Okay, so this one... But my, actually, if I was to be asked my favorite bug, is actually a praying mantis. I just love what they do. And the, actually, second would probably be stick bugs. I find them really, really intriguing. All right. So we're still going to have to do some changes to be able to get the um, detector rails with the note blocks in. But at least we've got enough that we can start testing the, the loop just to make sure it works. There we go. Runs up there. So if all goes well, or the way I expect it to go, hopefully, then we can get Skyfire says I was at the Nature Museum in Ottawa and You're I told a pair of giant piece? stick bugs while they were busy. Any eggs? I certainly hope they didn't have any eggs on you. Yeah, that would just be awful. Ooh, ooh, attention, please. What did I miss? Give me a sec. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Any eggs? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see. This will probably make you happy. Do you think we're ready? On Java? We're good. Bedrock, we've actually got that sorted now, too, which is great. Sure thing. Springer Shadow would like us to start a prediction to see whether or not we're going to get a chicken or an egg. Let's run this one again. There we go. So when it says egg, what it means is that it's just the egg cracks and no chicken. But if it, but we can throw up to five eggs. Each of them has a one in eight chance, independent of one another, to go and. Um, have an egg, a chicken come out of it. Yeah. Independent of the next one. Okay, this is going to be wrong. So we've got to get the triggering mechanism built. I just need one more block. Do -do -do. Behind. And then... 
I see what I did wrong. I need to space things. This one. And then that one I could pull. I think I can pull this one out now. Yeah. That should maybe do the trick. Then I can figure out how to get all the um, redstone out the wall. All right, so in theory, then I need to get box. That'd be interesting, depending on your age. Well, assuming that one understood it, yes. Yeah, if you weren't really sure what those sticks were doing or why they were stuck together, you just need to know not to pull them apart. You could hurt them. Um, what was I looking for? Okay, I'm done with that. I needed these. Oops, not that. There's our minecart. Come on, minecart. And where did I put our buttons? Buttons, buttons, who's got the buttons? Throw it up there for now. All right, so the idea is we're going to trigger this redstone. Now, if all goes well, this thing should make it all the way to the top and then drop back down, wherever that went. Glass, so it goes around the center section. And it's going to drop when we get all the way to the top. So we're halfway. And you can see why we need to test it. You can also see why um, it needs to have note blocks or something because this is a long route, which I could have made shorter. Like I did know how to make it shorter, but once you get started, it's kind of fun. Keep going. Have I missed any others? I don't think so. Oh, yep, I missed the other one. Can you turn that one on? Hmm. Dylan, really? This one. I'm gonna cheat. There. Because if I knock it out of the way, it's just going to cause all kinds of problems. Okay. There, go. Ah, oh, boy. Guess what I forgot. <laughs> growing. Perfect. So I could run it a second time, but I get the point. It's gonna work. Throwing this one out here for now. And this one down there. Well, that's doing its thing. That's fine. Let's go figure out where we need the rails to, or the um, notes and blocks. Aha! Chickens! Okay, so how this works, we have five eggs, and we need to throw them out and see if we get chickens. And I don't mind doing it in here because then I can easily corral them and get rid of them. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So there was no chicken this time. Winner resolve is... Egg. But this time there was no... You don't hear them either. Game sounds. Hmm. That's odd. 
I've got the Java sounds up. Oh, hang on a sec. I think I know what you're referring to. No, not portals. Mine part. There we go. That might help a little bit. So it looks like the details. Yep. 3450. Go to Fantastic Sherlock Fox and Springer Shadow. Congratulations, YouTube. The note blocks, um, options, sounds, I think I did actually just turn them straight out off. There was a reason at one point, that I can't remember what it was. Oh, I know. Um, the That's because it was note blocks and jukeboxes, and some people have a habit of liking to put a jukebox in the, in the um, shopping district, which I find kind of annoying, so. Okay, let's see if we can get this to go again. Hmm. I'm not hearing much of the cart, even though I am no longer... Options, sounds, no longer blocking that. Blocks? Environment? Should be it. There we go. I'm trying to remember what the song is called. There's a, an oldie-ish one. It talks about, I think we're alone now. I think we're alone now. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. And that one definitely has a heartbeat in it. So it looks like if that's not working, then where I have it, I can't put it underneath the detector rail. Good to know. Aw. Mister can fix that while we're at it, I guess. This one. Go with detector rail. And then I don't block here. Does that do anything? Yay, we have a sound. Okay. So it looks like we just have to make it go beside rather than being on top. All right, so what's the spacing like? Tiffany or Belinda? Yeah, exactly. We have sounds! Hurrah! Okay, first one was a couple around the end after I've gone up around the corner. Okay. It looks like I have to do a little bit of repairs. But hey, we're gonna get sounds out of it. Which, apologies to anyone who can't hear it, but hey, we'll get a visual out of it. Is that one... This one goes numb. Where's my buttons? Buttons, buttons, buttons. There we go. No, oh, shoot. Come on. That's actually not bad. start to see where we're going here. We'll tune them after. 
we'll place them now and tune them after. So I have to go deal with the um, the stair or the glass being busted. I fill up all the rails again. So I guess I should probably put buttons on all of them. If I want something other than the base note, I will have to put something underneath them. But I think we're okay, and the one spot where I want it to sound like something else is the one and only spot where I need to put something actually on top because of the what it is. That sounds vague. I'll be... I'll, be, I'll give you guys part of it. Um, is I'm going to be giving... giving... I'm going to be putting a mob head on top. Yay! Oh, whoops. And in my test versions, I was using a zombie head, but that's not actually what I'm going to use in the end. Um, yeah, I think it is. But there aren't a whole lot of mob heads to choose from in that respect. I learned an important lesson this week. Never ever try to, to roof an irregular, a very irregular shaped building in Minecraft. <laughs> why, why not? Is it just difficult to do or is it that you fell off? Because I wasn't there for either one of those. Hello James, how are you doing? Good uh, time zone to you. There you go. Let's see. My guesstimate for James. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, it's not too bad, you're at work. Good. Hope you're enjoying your day and having a half decent break. to this one. So James, I talked about it for a long time and I'm finally getting around to putting the, some of the guts inside the the very large statue thingamajig. And I'm up to the adding some noise. Make some noise! Yeah. I'm sticking with the default sound, the default um, piano-ish sound of the note blocks because I actually happen to like it. Not many people do, but I happen to like it. Took piano for many years and uh, so it's sort of an homage to that, I suppose. The kids were laughing a little bit though because I'm also making a keyboard in uh, our scrap mechanic game. And uh, what you can do with some of them, they've got... So some of the robots in there will drop their head and when they drop their head, you can get one note out of it the same way you can with a with a note block in Minecraft. Yeah, okay. I think that's right. And so when I do that, um, in Scrap Mechanic, I'm actually, I've got two octaves to work with. So I'm trying to build a keyboard in there, but it, we, have to, we have to get ourselves all the scrap materials to make the various parts we need to go with it. So like the buttons to trigger it and so on. And I don't have that yet. I've been putting priorities on things for the group instead. So it's a, it's a slow go. Depends on the sound you have, unfortunately. Um, one of, the, I guess one of the best ones that I nearly chose was um, if you use packed ice, you can get sort of a, how do I explain it? It's a different type of thing. In my early tests, as Fantastic Shock Fox can vouch from the other room, I was working on um, doing it with village bells. They don't change tone, but my goodness, those are annoying. <laughs> Didn't take long before I decided I was not doing it that way. The other thing has just occurred to me, I haven't counted these. So this route might be longer, might be shorter. So it could be interesting to see how this works out. I don't know if I'll be able to get the right spacing of tunage. Oh, and James, you missed that um, I oopsed at the beginning, and instead of making 18 note blocks, I'm now the owner of 18 jukeboxes. Don't know what I would ever do with 18 of them. Oh, shush. Mm. 
but uh, yeah, mistakes were made. Fire them out. Yeah. Just to put a general sign up in, in shopping district. Please do not make any. Buy mine. <laughs> it only cost you the single diamond you would have spent to make your own anyway. Okay. This one, that one. Backtrack and just go up. It's easier. And then hopefully we'll get to the point where you guys can see what the uh, semi-surprise item was supposed to be. Let's see if we can get these tuned up to work. Problem with, with these is when you click them, they only go up and they don't come back down in that. You have to actually keep going up and go all around the ends. So there's a lot of useless sound. This one... Um... I need to change out that spot to get a detector rail. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm hoping. We won't have a ton of lag. If we have a ton of lag, this will be annoying. I've got to put my button on the side. Make sure it makes a noise. Okay, that'll work. Now, do I have any redstone left? I do. And my repeaters are down at the bottom, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, repeater. One, two, repeater. One, two, sound. Okay, that should work. All right, so let's go down and tune. All right, so we've got... Where do we start here? Mm hmm... Your attention, please. Is there a difference between the note block being next to the block under the track or next to the actual track? Not particularly. Um, I actually have a few in... I'll bring this back. Display capture. Turn on. There we go. So I actually have a few in this one. You can see, so we've got some that are under. Oh, sorry. Some that are alongside and under, like you asked. And my trigger button just ended up underneath. No big deal. Mm -hmm. See? Um, and then some of them are alongside above. It's just, I just happened to place them there. So whether we get the detec detection out of the rail itself straight to the block, or detection from there to the block below and then straight to the block it still triggers so what we're working on this is going opposite direction but it's basically this you may have to crank your sound a lot See if i can get minecraft noises up You can sort of see it going round at the top. And that's the end of it. So we went back down to the bottom. That, that last one, not the sound we're going to use. Come on, let's fly. But that last one was actually because I had the zombie head on top. Actually, it was kind of fun. This one's sort of silly. When I trigger it that way, uh, where's the buttons? There we go. When I trigger it this way. Same thing. So I get a zombie head. You get that. 
That's really all there is to it. So you get some sort of random piglin noise at the end. Which might be kind of fun, actually. I just don't have a piglin head right now. Pretty much the same outcome, yeah. So the way, um, let's see if I can show this section, because I have a picture open. Where did I put the picture? <laughs> did I close it? I closed it. All right. Just going to open my Minecraft helps. Is it on the desktop today? Desktop still. All right. That works. I'll drag it over. So there's, let's go this way and I'll just make it big. So everybody can see it. There, nice and big. Or well, close enough. Um, so there are 24 different notes of the Minecraft note block. So you can actually basically build just about any song you want. Yeah, and you can adjust it. So every time you right click it, it will change the tone, which is part of why I've been putting the buttons on it. Because if I right click it, it doesn't just play it again. It will actually um, change the note. And I think left clicks are great. But if I do them too close together, of course, it will it will break it. Um, Java, but you can do it in Minecraft, or sorry, in um, Bedrock as well. I just haven't personally done it in Bedrock yet. Yeah, so different ones underneath will change the, instru the instrument we're using. So for example, here, um, let's put, I've got wool handy, sure, why not? So if I throw a wool underneath this one, right, that's what it sounds like to start with. Oops, and I messed it up. That's okay. So then wool, we get a guitar type sound. Right? But if I, particularly in creative, if I left click it, it breaks, it's gone. So I have to remember not to do that in creative at least. Hence the button. I can do it with it's probably easier in this case. But it still acts like a button. So you just because I have just because I have the redstone on longer, it doesn't change the length of the note. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. So the different uh, material you put underneath makes a different sound. And not every material makes a sound. Um, there's a bunch that just end up back at the original sound again. So like this one, we've got more of a, I think it was a wine glass clink kind of sound. Yeah. Exactly. Got that, let's pull this one out. Wanted that one. It's a bit. It's a bit of a different sound. I like the ice one in this case because it seems to go a little longer. Although the original tone is a bit softer, and the guitar goes boom, and then you can just get simple. Ah, whoops. <laughs> That's, the, that's where we're headed. Cool. I got as far as grade six in piano and halfway through grade seven. Oops, actually, wrong one. Let's go back. Um, halfway through grade seven, but I didn't end up at taking the exams for grade seven. So yeah, that's why I enjoy playing with these sorts of things, but I'm not one who's going to be making a whole ton of music out of it. Just that part never really appealed. But it's nice to be able to hear it. Mm. Problem is, mm. tuning these mm. is just a pain in the neck. Mm. 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 Hello. Mm. Uh oh. Hello. What did I miss? Hello, Poodle. Perfect. 
These are the hard ones. And then we need to go... I think that's a full tone. Let's go this one more. Okay, so we've got as far... I'm just gonna put a little flag on here so I know which one's which. Uh, where did I put the extra? There we go. I know I was using buttons to test, but I don't mind flagging it this way. And that way, um, I'll know where I left off. Let's try to do something a little bit different. So we've got, you guys saw that we've got the, the uh, critter spot set up up top. Can we be bribed? Not today, we can't. Yeah, I'm already sort of feeling bad, although technically I'm going to be closer to Springer Shadow in a physical sense in a few days. Um, still not quite on the back. But so we've got this base set up. It's going to have our our um, critter head at the end. And I actually, I think I like that, um, what do you call it, the piglin head? I don't know if I've got one. I don't think I've encountered piglins yet. One two, and I think I need two repeaters. What I'm looking for with the repeaters is to slow down the redstone re reaching the piglin head so that hopefully the, the snort comes a little closer to the end of, a, of the actual drop, so we'll just have to see how that goes. You could try to be bribed. It'd be more likely to just be accommodating. I got the impression that somebody's trying to bribe us to go long. Which is great, except that I think I would really enjoy watching a little bit of Stormy and Unwinding. The other side of it is I want to do a lot of the tuning of these various um, note blocks off screen. The reason for that is that... Um... Oh. Not what I wanted. Um, the reason I want to do it off screen is partly that it's not exactly super exciting, partly that it's very, very repetitive, and, and I sometimes need to hyper-focus a little bit to make it work well. Um, actually, that'll work. And then, because I have them, this way I can experiment with how much delay I want. We'll start with a stupid amount, and then we'll see where it goes after that. But yeah, in the meantime, we need some sort of head, any kind of head, that would actually make a sound. And to be honest with me, I do not know. <laughs> I do not know if um, trader heads make any sound. I don't think so. I've never tried. Oops. No, I've never tried. There's a trader head. So we've got. Oh, one blocks. Haha. <laughs> down <laughs> sure that'll be our temporary one right that's hilarious so we don't have trader head as an option in the um in the creative world for some reason at least not the one i was looking at Okay, so if we're to trigger, let's see. And this thinking is like, how am I going to do this? Because I didn't actually leave myself enough space. Um, button, sure. For the purposes of, there we go. Oh my word. Okay, that's not going to do squat. Can I do it with a lever? Maybe not. Oh, no, I won't be able to. Ah ha ha ha. It's gonna come off specifically off that one. All right, let's, um... And I don't have another one of those. No, I can't do it off wool. It's not gonna work either. Hmm.
put on those things where you need one block of something conductive. One stinking block, really. There we go. Ay, 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 ay. I would tell my puppy that if she barked at 2am in the garden again, she would never have a piece of my cooked sausage ever again. Ooh. Yeah, that's a little loud. At 2am. <laughs> Probably me. Okay. So can I do this with a button now? Does it carry through? Nope. Does not carry through. All right. I carry it. Fake it this way. Because yes, of course, that would make sense. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to throw the block underneath and put the trader head on top this way. Okay, there. So if I have the cart putzing along and I trigger the thing and it comes across. <laughs> All right. So just once I'm going to try that with the, with the cart because I can, because I still have to figure out how to get the redstone outside. It's not hard. It's just doing it. There goes the cart. It's gonna be all kinds of wrong notes now, so apologies for that. Hey, Tis for Truth, how are you doing? Yeah, the old, ah! ouch. That just sounds really off because I was only halfway through. And the rest have all the default note. Yeah, there's a delay a little bit, I think. Yeah. So I might have to readjust some of these. It's not going to be perfect. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, so yeah. That'll be a temporary one then. It's not the one I'm going to want. Fireworks! Fireworks rule! Fireworks rule. Let's put away. There we go. All right, so got a couple of tweaks to make in terms of timing um, to make sure that the, the run on the front isn't notably sound-wise too much longer than the rest. So I think I might have to move these note blocks over a couple of slots. I think that would do because then it, it'll have a bit of a delay off coming off this previous one, but I don't think that'll be too bad. All right, and then the I have to eat because the bringer shot asked me to eat. There we go. And then we need to find the uh, the creature, hopefully the creature's head that I'm wanting to put on top. So let's go and see if we've got that. Run back to base and see how that goes. But before we go, which I did get a shot this morning, so we'll just go with that thumbnail. Yeah. All right. Progress. Progress. So in terms of scheduling for this week, I'm going to go with a normal set. Ooh. I'm going to go with a normal set of um, a streams. So twice today, twice tomorrow, and once on Thursday, and then I'll be off for about two weeks. Two, yeah, two weeks ish. Oh, wrong way. Two weeks issues because we are going to Ireland and I'm excited. For those of you that are familiar with the UK zone, we're headed to uh, an area called County Wicklow with um, the town, I guess, Arklow nearby. I've never been there. Um, we have Hello. my father in law lives there, so it'll be interesting to see what's there and how everybody goes. All right, let's see who wins this particular. Champion of the Hill, is it going to be Tom or is it going to be someone else? Let's see if it's rigged for the fox again. What do I have for heads? 
Ten bucks. Ooh. Ooh, that would be fun. What's this one? I wonder what that would do. Congratulations, Fox. Not rigged. Congratulations, Poodle Pirate, as well. Awesome. It's always good when that happens. Okay. Boink. What do we got? Come on. Can you make a noise, please? Nope. Those don't make much of any sound. Okay. So, shocker head, it is not. That's it. Some kind of soul drop 64 crying city in my mailbox. Ooh. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. I think I may have to nick them though. Because I think I know what they were for. <laughs> you can have them if you like, but I think that I may have to steal them and put them on the back of the of the Thing, Majig. 64 is a really good place to start, though. So, yeah, I You're think that's a wizard, Harry. Springer Shadow would like a would you rather question. Okay, we'll wrap up with a would you rather. Let's go stand over here where it's a little brighter. Cats and whatnot. Okay, so the would you rather question comes off. It's actually a book of would you rather Harry Potter themed ones on my Kindle. So I'm just firing up my Kindle app. If the game will load. There we go. Oh, come on. That's that's less than optimal. <laughs> Dude, no. Sky rats are not welcome. I'm trying to do a would you rather. I don't need the sky rats. Alright, try this again. Okay, it's play capture, and we're looking for. Nope, not that. Library. Downloaded. This one. You've had that, had that. Okay. I think we had that one. Yep. So, the question we've got today... Should I see which page we're... Yeah, we asked about Quirrell's head. Okay, so today's question... Would you rather be chosen for the Triwizard Tournament or become an Animagus? And the closed captions did, did get that correct. So would you rather be chosen for the Triwizard Tournament or become an Animagus? Um, Animagus is um, someone who can turn into a single type of animal at will. So, for Hello. example, um, Sirius Black can be, can be an Animagus. Um, Minerva McGonagall is an Animagus. Oh, ad break. Ad break. Yeah, so the Marauders... Um, in the Harry Potter books, uh, James, Sirius, Peter Pettigrew, and Lupin, three of those were, were able to be, sorry, three of those were able to be turned into Nanomagus. Uh, the fourth was not, because uh, Lupin was already a werewolf. The Triwizard Tournament, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be a part of that one either. Definitely not want, not want to be part of that one. All right, so we figured out, and there's the spoiler. Oops, just throw the spoiler up on the wall. I can figure out how to get myself, there we go. This way, and we're gonna put that. So that's what we're gonna end. Aha, so that's what we're gonna end up with. <laughs> Your fortune can be given to you by the dragon sound. Sure, why not? Oh, hush. 
just setting that one up is good. If I'm not the only one on the server at the time, it's just gonna be loud. The dragon head, the noise the dragon head gives is the dragon roaring. So it's the same sort of roar that you've got when the dragon flies overhead. Um, I'm not sure how that would actually come out as I've never seen the title for that one, like the subtitle. So I don't know what it would say or what it should say. Yeah, that one I think is gonna be fun. Another option. Do I have any other things interesting in here? Hoglin's head? I wonder what the Hoglin's head would do. Okay. Nope, nope, that's the wall. It's not gonna help. There we go. Okay, so Hogwin's head doesn't do anything exciting. I don't have a whole lot of choices in here. We don't need it to have a chicken's head. I don't think that would work too well. All right, yeah. So I think we're going to go with the dragon. It's kind of a, a grand way of finishing this silly little run of, um, of the carts. There we go. And now, <laughs> now for the next hour. We shall have a stay on said next hour. All right. And you didn't get me with the arrow, but here's the funny thing about that arrow shot, um, is that apparently in the default, there is a skeleton head that makes random skeleton noises, and sometimes it's an arrow. Go figure. All right. So that's where we are today. We've got the content up the inside. Oh boy. <laughs> content inside the cabinet of what I've been calling yeah, the cabinet. And we're still going to need a name for the trader the trader fortune well info guy and so um, if you guys want to drop that in the discord that would be super duper helpful i can figure out where my button is so if you guys want to drop that in the discord we can get some name suggestions going and uh in the meantime let's find somebody to raid uh what do we got i've got so many channels or tabs open today that i can't even find my who's live channel george Fred, Frank, who are we going to raid? I think we're just going to jump into um, Stormy Owl. She's on Slackfield this evening. So we're going to head on over there. Juan. <laughs> Juan Martinez. We're going to head over and we're going to visit Stormy. Uh, yeah. Something. There we go. I'm Mission glad you enjoyed the stream, and thank you ever so much for coming by. I want to say thanks to, to all our fine friends, um, everybody from Fantastic Show Xbox for gifting subscriptions, and thank you very much to Skyfire for bringing your friends over and for sticking around after your raid. I really do appreciate that. Uh, then also thank you for Clue Spending for Fantastic Sherlock Fox, Poodle Pirate, and Springer Shadow. We didn't quite get you your extra hour, but maybe another time. Uh, let's see, we've got Tis for Truth and Benson and Fox being our people, I guess, VIPs. ITT Tom somehow snuck in there twice. Max Money as well. And then we've got Flaming Fox, Bob Reen, Springer Shadow, Skyfire, James Curry, Poodle Pirate, Luke, Dibble Shrugs, and Skyfire all hanging out. So thank you everybody that came by. If you are um, just hanging out for a bit of a lurk, I want to say thank you so much. Uh, please do give Stormy Owl my... Uh, my best. I will be joining you very shortly. And in the meantime, see you again soon. I will be back. My time is noon-ish tomorrow, or um, sorry, pardon me, 10 a.m. tomorrow, noon-ish Eastern, and we'll see where we can go from here. So, have yourself a great day, and bye-bye for now.